Welcome to the first annual Young Achiever Awards 2009. Proudly brought to you by Uganda National Chambers of Commerce and Industry in conjunction with Tatea Uganda. In a country with a huge population below the age of 35, the ability to create and innovate lies in the brilliance of their intellect. Tonight, we'll recognize and applaud the achievements of these young pioneers who have accomplished extraordinary things in their chosen field. These young ordinary people have turned their dreams into a reality. We will be rewarding Uganda's young achievers, the innovative, talented and brilliant minds of a new Uganda in the following categories. Young Achievers Vocational Agriculture Young Achievers Vocational Hospitality Young Achievers Business Solutions Young Achievers Business Trade Young Achievers Arts and Entertainment Young Achievers Business Journalism Young Achievers Vocational Skills Housing and Construction And an overall Young Achiever Group Let's learn more about the award and look at the mind behind the award's creation. I think this is the future of our country. We should support it and we should promote it. And uh, of course, I'll call, I'll call upon all the youth to come out and, uh, and show what they can do. So what we're showing is, listen, David Mukasa has done this, you can also do it. And we're trying to encourage the young people also to, 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 to venture into skills, other skills. Be attentive to what is going to be happening tonight because the impact on all our lives. And from tonight, I'd like you to support this initiative. This award to me is really something that I treasure. I'll treasure for life and where I can support any youth, I always try in whatever field. Watch as lovers pass me by. Walking stories who's and how's and why's Musing lazily on love Pondering you Young Achievers Award was set up to encourage uh, Ugandan youth to take a more proactive uh, stance in determining their future. The demographics in Uganda are quite unique in that uh, Uganda is predominantly a, a youthful country. The youth make up close to 70% of the population or slightly more. And yet all or most of the major economic and political influence is based in the minority of the population, people over 35. I watch as lovers pass me by Walking stories, who's and how's and why's The making of the award trophy the award was carved out of a valuable stone by a young gentleman whose hands are truly gifted, working long, hard hours to carve out a number of highly detailed sculpted models that will be carried away tonight. I enjoy doing this work. Uh, a stone is not just a stone to me. It has lots of potential in it, uh, like we're seeing here. I hope uh, people who get this award will uh, see beyond the, the award and realize that there is potential behind or there is workmanship behind and uh, that that touch can be passed on to future generations.
Uh, I think tonight what we should expect to see are really great stories, inspiring stories, young people who have achieved so much. Being able to be here tonight and witness the first annual uh, Young Achievers Award is, is a big dream uh, come true for me. The future of the award is, I think it's really going to grow, I need to expand uh, and include more uh, people to participate and expand on the categories. Um, what really inspired me to do this was uh, as a young person who is always dreaming, has big dreams and always trying to, um, to realize my dreams is that I know how hard it can be. So therefore recognizing those who dare um, is, is an opportunity really I had to extend to, to those who share part of the struggles I've been through. After years of battle, after years of war it's still hard to see what we're fighting for I can see your troubles, I can feel your pain But from all this fighting, tell me where's the change Here is your host, 